Hi everyone. I am here to talk about the new digital files. I'm just going to screen share here just a second here. Um, the new digital files that I have added to um, a lot of my resources in my store. So I have a few different examples I'm going to show you in this presentation and a quick tutorial to show you how easy it is. But let's just talk about why I'm doing this in the first place. So there is a difference between having a digital resource that is a PDF file versus having a digital file in Google Drive. Here I have an example of a PDF file. Now, when you download a PDF file from Teachers Pay Teachers, it is locked and password protected. And that is to protect the intellectual property of any of the images, fonts, design elements, or content of the different resources that a teacher author may use to create that product. So it is within the terms of use to password protect it. So in order to stay within those terms of use, then we always make sure that things are password protected so that PDFs are not uh, manipulated and unlocked and edited. Now, this becomes a little bit of a tricky process if you are trying to assign things online for distance learning or in an online tutoring situation. There are a few workarounds. You could screenshot. You could take screenshots of certain pages and assign those to your students. Uh, that means taking screenshots, saving them as images, and uh, filling up your computer with a whole bunch of images of screenshots of things. You could use the snipping tool, which depending on whether you're using a Mac or a PC, whatever that looks like, you could use that. But once again, that means filling up your hard drive with a lot of images of different pages and keeping track of that. You could print a PDF, which is just selecting certain pages. And that's great. That creates a whole new PDF file. Um, but let's say you have a very large file that you've downloaded from Teachers Pay Teachers. It may have hundreds and hundreds of pages. And you only need maybe one or two pages from that file. It is productive and time-saving to have a digital file in Google Drive for that purpose. When you get an additional file in Google Drive, you need a Google Drive account, well, so you need a, a Gmail account, all right, and um, you are given the rights to make a copy of that file. So I'll go to one, I'll go to this one right here of my decodable stories. So let's let that load for a second. The pages in a digital file that is housed in Google Drive are unlocked. That means if I click on it, let's give it a second here, it's an image. I can move that to a different file. I can make a copy and paste it into my own presentations. You can't do that with a PDF file unless you go through those steps that I mentioned earlier. So this is cutting down on those steps if you are creating Google Slide presentations for your students. So why would you want a Google Drive file? Once again, it's easier when you have larger files to just select a few slides that you need. It's easy to just copy paste one image or images into your own Drive presentation. You can just select a few pages to assign to a student if you're using them for Google Classroom. Some digital files actually have text boxes built in so that if you were to assign that copy to a student in Google Classroom, then they would be able to type into the text boxes and submit work to you. So yes, you could just save a PDF that you download from 
Teachers Pay Teachers to your Google Drive. You absolutely could. However, you cannot edit the pages in slides as if you could with this particular version. You do not have the same capabilities. It is meant to be a time-saving option instead of having to use screenshots, the snipping tool, um, print a PDF, all of those extra steps. So let's talk about how to do that. So right now, I have created a sample tutoring lesson right here with some blank slides in a Google slide presentation. I have changed my layout so that I have portrait orientation, eight and a half by 11, and I have exactly four slides there. I could always copy and paste to make more. So I want blank slides so that I can take the images from the digital files and copy and paste them into this. So let's say I want my word list first. Okay, so I have my digital file in Google Drive of my word lists. I have one of um, I consonant E pine I. I'm going to click on it. I'm, when I copy and paste, you could right click and copy it that way or do control C, control V, copy. Okay, so then I go to my own presentation and I paste it in there. Give it a second. Try it that way. There we go. So I right clicked again and I did paste. All right, now here's a few things you can do. First, you might wanna resize it. So you can totally do that. Just resize it a little bit. Okay, so it's, the image is still nice and clear. You could move it up in the arrangement of slides. So say I wanna move it up a little bit, I can do that. Move to the first position. All right, however you wanna do that. All right, so, okay, I've got my word list. Now, let's say I want a passage. So, go to the passage file. All right, so all the passages are there. I'll just right click, copy, go to my presentation, go to a blank slide, right click, paste. Okay. Make it a little bit larger here. Okay. Let's just resize that a little bit. Okay. These are all PNG images, so they're meant to really still say stay, excuse me, pretty crisp in their um, quality. Okay. Now I've, so I've got Let's see, for this student, I have a word list. I've got a passage. Let's say I wanted a game. Okay, go to my phonics games. All right, so I've already scrolled down through the phonics games and I've found I have um, a nice little board game here that I can play with that student. So select this, right click, copy, go to my presentation, paste it in there. and just adjust it as needed, okay? Now, there's also in those games some cards. Hold on, I think I have to go down just a tiny bit. Yeah, let me go down, there it is. So the cards came right after the board game. So let's go there. All right, so let's see if I take those with me. Two, copy, take them to my lesson, blank slide, paste. There we go. And then enlarge it as needed. 
you'll notice, I'm just going to go back to this game board. There's a spinner for this. You don't have to use, I know you might be thinking, how am I going to use a spinner game um, for this? If you wanted, you could have a spinner at home and just tell the student um, what number you um, landed on or something like that. Um, if you don't want to give them the word cards, then you can just keep the game board in there and um, cut them out at home and have your own little stash of them. Or if you're screen sh sharing this, so you have the game board, let's say, and you know what the directions are when they land on a certain space, it means something, like to either read a word, spell a word, I don't remember. Um, they could go here and using the annotating tools, let's, you could have them stamp a word um, or have them write on it, something like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna clear out those drawings. Here we go. So there are a few different options, but let's just say this was, a tutoring lesson right here. You had your words, you had a passage, and you had a game. Say you want to add in some review words, you can do that too. You could add in, so if you need to add in another slide, just go insert new slide and say you wanted to add in something from Wordless Builder, you could do that. So the nice thing is just having the capability to seamlessly combine images from different files all into one without having to do those extra steps. This is particularly helpful if you have large files to sift through um, of different things. So you could just name that lesson after the student's name or say I wanted to change the name of it to, I don't know, long I or VCEI or something like that. Okay, so uh, once again, I've gone over the benefits of uh, having a file in Google Drive versus just a PDF and what you're able to do with a Google Drive digital file that you aren't able to do as easily or seamlessly as if you had a PDF file. So if you have any questions, certainly let me know, but I, I hope you found this to be useful. Take care, everybody.